Hi guys, welcome to my channel and I hope you are doing good today because I'm about to share with you how to make this men brief boxer. Very easy and detailed. All the measurements will be provided on the screen. So before we get started, please do make sure that you give this video a good thumbs up. So I am going to be drafting a rectangle shape of around 27 to 23 centimeters. And this is for a larger size. Once we are done doing so, I am going to go on the waistline and go in by one centimeters. And then on the side also, I'm going to mark 18 centimeter going down. And this is for the larger size. And then connect the two points. Once we're done, I am going to go again on the waistline. On the other side, go down by one centimeter and create a new waistline. Moving on to creating our crotch, I am going to mark six centimeters. This is for the larger size, and I'm going to connect it to create a leg opening, and I'm going to be using my curve ruler. Once I am done, I'm going to mark two centimeters going up and then I'm going to connect the two to create a crotch. Moving ahead to the waistline, you are going to mark eight centimeter and then you're going to connect it to the crotch line. And this is your front pattern. But then we're not done. I want to go ahead and create a curve line on the outside of the box. So what I'm going to do is use my curve ruler and just create a curve line. And this is how the pattern will look. Now for the back pattern, I am marked a rectangle of around 23 centimeter by 29 centimeter. On the side, I'm going to mark or go in by one centimeter and then go down by 18 centimeters. And this is going to be for a larger size. Now at the bottom to create the crotch, I'm going to mark six centimeters by two centimeters. Then I'm going to connect the two points. And for the leg opening, I'm just going to connect the two points with a straight line. And this is our back pattern. You wanna go ahead guys and add some seam allowance all around the pattern. And this one is going to be cut on fold. Now I have cut out my pattern. I want to go ahead and take the center piece of the front. I have a new pattern paper here, which is on fold. And I'm going to place my center piece of the front right on the folded side. Then I'm going to trace around it. So once you're done cutting, you will notice a dot in the middle and this is how it, the pattern will look. So moving along to sewing our pattern, I did cut out on a stretch fabric. So you also want to do the same thing. I'm going to take two sides of the fabric and uh, sew it with the center part of the boxer. And I'm going to be using my overlock machine to sew all the pieces together. Once I am done, I'm going to go ahead and sew the dot. Okay. 
and this is how the boxer will look so far even on the front so you want to go ahead now and take the back pattern or the back fabric and also place them together right sides facing and go ahead and join the sides Once we're done, this is how it will look. It's time to close the crotch. Once we're done sewing the crotch, it's time for us to attach the elastic on the waist. So I am going to cut this elastic one inch smaller than the actual waist. Then I am going to place the elastic right on the outside of our boxer. Then go ahead and um, sew the elastic with the boxer on my serger. And we are almost done guys. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and do a top stitch you can use a zigzag stitch or a twin needle and I'm also going to do the same thing also on the leg opening. You can use a zigzag stitch or a twin needle. And we are done guys. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and see you on the next one.